Hey everybody, welcome to another bodyweight only workout. Today's focus is going to be an ab workout with a high intensity finisher. So we're going to do nine moves that are all ab and core related, some isometric holds, some movements where you're contracting through your abs, and then at the end we're going to do a four minute finisher that is focused around the core and abs. It's going to be a real burner. So if this is your first time joining these workouts, we're going to do nine moves one minute on each move, back to back to back to back, then we're going to take a two minute rest, and then we're going to do a four minute finisher all together. The whole workout will take less than 20 minutes, and we'll get you right going into a sweat. So first move we're going to do is on the ground, we're going to go on a plank for 60 seconds on a hold. So I'll take, keep the time, I'll have it in front of me, and I'll keep it as we go. So get yourself into a plank position, three, two, one, and holding that plank position. We're going to hold it for 60 seconds, so hands, Together, clasp them together, hands by the side, wherever they're most comfortable. Make sure your core is off the stomach, your core is engaged. If you're arched up like this in the air, bring yourself down. If you're down like this on the ground, bring yourself back to center. So hold that position in a plank, 60 seconds. If you have to take a breather, drop to your knees, catch your breath, and then go back in. Take two, three seconds as you need to, and break up the 60 seconds if you need to do that. We're 30 seconds in now, well done. We've got nine moves all focused around our core and abs. We're gonna go straight through on each of those moves. So a real focus on core, focus on abs, obliques, all the way through. Keep it held, break as you need to, drop to your knees, back up 15 seconds, and I'll count it down when we get to 10. Keep it going, keep it held. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a breather, catch your breath. Next move, we're gonna go side plank on your right side or your left side, whichever is most comfortable to start with. We're gonna go up into the side, into a side plank, and we're gonna hold it for 60 seconds. Three, two, one, and hold. Side plank, hand in the air, hand on the side, wherever it's most comfortable for you. I like it up in the air, keeping it held. This one's significantly harder, so if you have to take a breather, just drop to your side, catch your breath, and then back up. If you gotta go three, four, or five second break, Every 10 or 15 seconds, that's fine. Just drop down, let the air out of your stomach, and then back in. Hold it for as long as you can. Work to your own pace. Again, remember, stick with me if you can, but take a, a breather every time you need to. As long as you're going at your 10 out of 10, that's what matters. Catch your breath, 25 seconds. Side plank is, is a hard one. We're gonna go the opposite side after this. Keep it held. 20 seconds, drop in as needed. Fatigue through the core, and up. 15 seconds, I'll count this down from 10. Keep it held, well done. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, let's take a breather. All right, catch the other side. If you did the left side, now you're going right side. If you did the right side, now you're going left side. Three, two, one, and up. Again, hands in the most comfortable position, on the side, in front, wherever is most comfortable for you. And again, break it up as you need to. If you need to take breath, take a breather, drop to your side, the air out of your stomach, and then go back in. Real core and ab focus on this one. Great one as a full workout, or adding to the end of any other workout where you want to target abs and core. Keep it held. Well done. 30 seconds. Take a breather as you need to, air out of your stomach, and then back up again. Keep it held. Well done. Keep the form. Bring your body off the ground. If you find yourself dropping, drop all the way. Take a breather and then keep the form. Back in, 15 seconds, I'll count us down from 10. Well done. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take a breather. Whew, catch your breath. Okay, next few nice ones. We're gonna work in contraction on the abs. So no isometrics, we've got those three hardest ones out of the way. So we're going opposite body crossover. So we're coming up, opposite knee to opposite elbow, squeeze at the top, opposite knee, opposite elbow, squeeze at the top. 60 seconds, three, two, one, and coming across your body, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Focus on that squeeze to the top, working through your core, working through your abs. Squeeze to the top, let the air out of your stomach, at the top of each move. Coming across your body, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Well done, keep it going. Good job, coming across your body. Every time you lose that contraction, if you feel it on your neck, take a breather, drop back, hands where they're comfortable, coming across your body, keeping all the tension through your core, through your abs. 30 seconds, well done. 
coming across your body. <sighs> Breathing on the out <sighs> at the top of each rep. 20 seconds, keep it going. <sighs> I'll count us down, we're at 15. I'll count us down when we get to 10. <sighs> keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and take a breather. <sighs> okay, next move. Coming across your body, it's a nice one. Get his ease into the finisher. Coming across your body, you're coming a side tuck up and you're gonna squeeze up to the side. So you're working your serratus through the side here, hands on your head, and you're gonna come up and tuck into your side. Three, two, one, 60 seconds. Hands where they're comfortable in front. I like keeping it on my serratus, coming across your body. I like tapping at the top. You get that little bit of mind muscle connection, that your muscular response to touch and squeezing through your serratus. Leg coming across your body, and you should be feeling it right up here, the top left or top right of your abs, depending on what side you're doing it first. Squeeze to the top, and let the air out at the top of each move. We're going left side, and then right side, or right side, and then left side, depending on which side you did first. Keep it coming across your body. Well done. We're working all the areas today. We're gonna work core, lower back, abs, obliques, serratus, the whole lot. So that whole region, 15 seconds. I'll count us down from 10. You should get that little bit of a burn now if you haven't felt it already. Keep it going, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Switch the sides. So same position, if you did left side, now you're doing right side, if you did right side, now you're doing left side. Leg across your body, body, hand to your elbow, to your temple, three, two, one, coming across your body, squeezing through your serratus. Side tuck or serratus squeeze. People call it different names, but you're squeezing up through your side. Leg where it's comfortable. Some people are going across their body. I like keeping it just tucked underneath so I can get that full squeeze through my serratus, through the inside of my upper ab. Keep going. That's it, well done everyone. Breathe at the top and squeeze. Breathe and squeeze. 30 seconds. Hands where they're comfortable on your temples, on the side of your head, but make sure all that tension and focus is going through your serratus, going through right here where I'm tapping. That's it, keep it going. 20 seconds. I'll count us down when we get to 10. Well done, 15. Keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, we're going into, onto our backs. Next move, we're gonna tuck up into a tuck crunch. So normal crunch like this, or a tuck crunch like this. Whatever's more comfortable for you, I'm gonna go tuck crunch. You can go normal crunch if you're already feeling it. I'm gonna go tuck crunch, crunch for 60 seconds. Three, two, one, 60 seconds. So tucking in and crunching up. So you can do a normal crunch if you're able to feel it, or you're a little bit fatigued, you can go normal crunch and focus through the top, or you can go tuck crunch like I'm doing. It's just a little bit harder and it's a little bit more of a progression. Again, you can go straight leg all the way out and tuck in. I'm just doing small pulsing crunches to try and mimic a harder version of a normal crunch. Keep it going. Take a breather as needed, 30 seconds. Tucking in. Remember, knees planted to the ground or feet planted to the ground. If you're doing a normal tuck, if you're doing a normal crunch, if you're doing a tuck crunch, bring in small pulses and squeezing through your core. You should be burning through your abs. 15 seconds. Let the air out of your stomach as you need to. I'll count us down from 10, keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, two more moves. Stay on your side. We're gonna go side oblique leg raises. So coming up to the side, we're squeezing through our obliques, right side, left side, and then we're gonna go into our finisher. Three, two, one, lying flat and coming up to the side. So arm into the ground, lat into the ground, and squeezing up through your obliques. So make sure your obliques are doing the work. Turn your foot in if you need to, keep it straight. Whatever you need to do to feel your obliques down to the side of your stomach. Keep it going, we're going right side, then left side, or left side, then right side. Focus on that squeeze, slow and controlled reps. Don't take a breather all the way down, keep the tension on the obliques, and work through for 60 seconds. I'd rather you keep the tension all the way through and take a breather by dropping your leg than going all the way down and breaking on each rep. That's it, keep it going. 
Stay, take a breather as you need to. As soon as you feel it going into your glutes, take a slight breather and we're back in. Good job. 15 seconds. Well done. We're nearly there. I'll count this down from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And take a breather. All right, switch sides. If you did right side, now you're doing left side. If you did left side, now you're doing right side. Last move, and then we're gonna finish her, and then we're done. Three, two, one. So lying leg lift, lying leg raise, working through your obliques on the side. Keep it going. So we've worked everything on today's workout. We've gone core, your abs, your rectus abdominis, your obliques, your serratus, your lower back, everything through your core is getting worked in this session. And take a breather as you need to. Stretch your leg as you need to, and then back in. Keep that tension through your oblique. You should be feeling it all the way through here where I'm tapping. Keep it going, 30 seconds. Every time you need a breather, just take a breather, drop it down, take the tension off your obliques, and then back in again. Well done. 20 seconds. Keep it going. Ooh, catch your breath. 15 seconds, I'll count us down from 10. Oh, well done, keep it going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and take a breather. All right, catch your breath. We got a four minute finisher, and then we're done. We're gonna go push up position, opposite knee to opposite elbow, with your knees, keeping the focus on the core and on your stomach. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for eight rounds. So a Tabata style workout. It's four minutes total, and then we're done. So I'll do the stopwatch. If you have a stopwatch, feel free to put it in front of you as well. We're going in a push-up position. So in a push-up, we're coming across your body, opposite knee to opposite elbow, and we're gonna go for four minutes total. 20 seconds on, 10 second break, eight rounds for four minutes. So get yourself started. Set up, three, two, one. Push-up position, opposite knee to opposite elbow. Slow and controlled. We're going 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four minutes and then we're done, slow and controlled. That's it, so it's gonna be a little bit harder than normal because of all that pre-fatigue work we did on your core. Three, two, one, drop down, take 10 seconds. You're gonna be okay for the first round or two, and then it's gonna get very sore very quick. Catch your breath, three, two, one, you're back in, opposite knee to opposite elbow, coming across your body, keeping all the tension through your core, through your abs, through your obliques, everything through there. Keep it going, across your body. That's it, 10 seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, 10 seconds. Catch your breath. And just enough time to get your breath before we're back in. Five, four, three, two, one. Back in. Good job, minute down. Three to go. Keep it going, cross your body. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Four minutes total. Keep it going. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. 10 seconds. All right, starting to feel it now. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Back in, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Good job, everyone. Keep it going, keep the pace. Squeezing through. Well done. That's it, 10 seconds. Keep going, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, two minutes to go. Four rounds and we're done. Catch your breath, just enough to get your breather. And then we're back in. Three, two, one, back in. Opposite knee, opposite elbow, 20 seconds. Keep it strong, finish it strong. Well done, keep going. 10 seconds, good job, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, one, oh, and drop. 10 seconds, three more rounds and we're done. Oh, finish it strong, I know it's hard, but keep it going. Three, two, one, back in, three rounds to go. Oh, coming across your body, oh, keep that position. Oh. That's it, keep the pace, finish it strong. I know it's hard, keep it going, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and relax. One minute to go, two more rounds and we're done. Catch your breath, 10 second breather. 
We're back in in five, four, three, two, one. Back in. One more minute, two more rounds. Keep it going. 20 seconds. Good job. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, take a breather. 10 seconds. One more round and we're done. Last round. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. We're nearly there. 3, 2, 1. Back in. Oh, 20 seconds. Last one. Finish it strong. We're done after this. Oh, I'll count us down from 10 on this one. You're nearly there. Keep going. That's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. That's it. Well done, everyone. Good job. Good finish. Okay, that's everything from today's workout. Ab workout with a finisher, four minute finisher, Tabata finisher with a core focus. Great workout, either as a standalone or putting it to the end of your normal workout or gym routine if you want something that's super core and ab focused for the last 15 or 20 minutes of your workout. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, if you're enjoying these videos or any of the other videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, be sure to hit that follow button, be sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you all real soon.